Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Sharp. I've got with me Ian Andrews, and we are going to do something that I've been trying to do for like weeks, months. I've had this thing. This is like the Mambuana thing. The, it's like a do-it-yourself kind of yeah. flavoring to booze. So in the last three weeks, I'm like, I'm going to get this done. And every week, you have to, basically what you do is you're going to take a spirit, you're going to put it in this oak bottle. This oak bottle is going to age it. It takes 48 hours, 24 to 48 hours, right? Yeah. Well, I always think about that on like Thursday night. And I'm like, well, I can't That's do it for the taping. Barely 24 hours, yeah. Right, so. So you thought about it Wednesday, apparently. Exactly. I was driving out. <laughs> yeah, I but get... then he was almost a little late on that, too. <laughs> yeah. So I, I went out. I, I was picking up peanuts for the store and a bunch of peanuts. Remember I said um, that, not penis. Um, so I was picking and up the these... packaging type. Yeah, package, okay. packaging penises. Yes. Uh, and so I <laughs> so stopped in the store. Don't be with your order. Right. It happens. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All the time. Like, hi, what the hell? Uh, and we hide them in there like espionage. So, this, I went to the store at 10 in the morning to buy this. Sex be Sex be I felt weird going in to buy tequila at 10 in the morning. Hey, but whatever. Yeah, I wasn't hey, the only one there. You were probably too perky to have a problem, so. Yeah. I mean, I was still drinking my coffee. Yeah. And so I picked this up. I come home, I'm like, all right, I have 48 hours. I start reading the instructions. Like, put water in this thing for 24 hours. I'm like, ah, what? Because it starts leaking. Yeah. So, I threw, you have to so put water in this, yep. and, it, and it expands, and it sucks in, yep. right? And, and this, so it starts just pouring out of the bottom That's funny. for like that five minutes. That would be minutes. great if you put the tequila in there, right? <laughs> exactly. So, and then it's, the bottom starts getting black everywhere because oh, yeah. it's charred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, so it's coming through. Right, so the char is coming out. I don't know if you can see that. And um, so I basically, I gave it, but because we re start recording at 6.30, mm -hmm. I let the sucker like sit until about the time we would record. So it would be closer to 48 hours, knowing that this was, what, it's 7.30 now, right? Yeah. So i probably get this done more around 7.30, empty out all the water, right, because it stopped leaking. Yeah, well, obviously. Which yeah. is a good thing. Yeah. But you're really supposed to give it 24. Didn't have that much time. So I threw in my, my, my Hornitos, because that was kind of what I decided on. Some people had said, oh, wouldn't it be neat to do that? And, and you're like, yes, yes, it would be neat to do yeah, that. Yeah, so at first I filled it too high, so some of it dripped out, right? Well, within like seven hours, it's down to here. And the head. Because so, it soaks up. Right. And there's yeah. still some in here, so I'm pouring it in, top it off. Come back the next day, it's back down here. So I pour more in, top it off, down left in here. It's back down here! I don't know where the hell that sucker's going! Is that all in the wood, or did it leak out? A no, bit? there's no leaking. I had something under it, just to make sure. Oh. I know! So put this in here. I, I, th the other thing is, you can drink it right out of the wood, but it's just going to continue to age. This is no longer... It's Whoa, gold. It's not clear Holy anymore. crap. Clear. Um, so, some stats on this way it does that. I talked about filling it with water first. You don't want to leave it empty unless you, you clean it, wash it out without soap. Just wash it, you know, flush it out, and then you can let it settle again. But the first few uses, it's going to be more oaky and more oaky and more oaky. So this could be totally over-oaked, because you're really supposed to taste it for your final whatever flavor. I'm like, fuck that. 48 hours, bitches. <laughs> so you can use it about 50 times, and then after that, the oak starts to kind of get not so lovely. So you could just age it longer. So instead of 40 hours, maybe do for four weeks, right? And you continue to use the oak as long as you want to. That smells cool. But after about 50, they're saying, you know, if you want it to be doing this again, you're going to need it to get it's a new like one. It's tobacco, almost a yeah. mezcal. Now they have other ones too. Smokiness too. So that's an $80 bottle. So $80 for that bottle gets you about 50 usage. Do the math, figure out if that's worth it to you. I don't know what it's going to taste like. Um, and then $90, you can get ones that have cherry infusion, citrus infusion, smoke, where they, they must either peat smoke it or do something. That's just a standard uh, toasted charred oak. Um, what else? So you get your 50 Solomon, uses. Who's in the chat room is Solomon, Solomon is in chat. Solomon sent me this. Okay. He actually, he, he to make it Derek easier. He wanted to do all the work. He just <laughs> said. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, hey, dude, you, you, you paid $80 for me to do this, but you could have done it. And now if you, if, I re, if you really like it, you don't have one. So if you want it, I'll just ship it to you. I don't even know if that's possible to do, but I'm sure we could do that. What? The other thing they did mention is if you use like wine, because you can oak aged wine with it. Yeah, it goes on. It's just really tight. Okay. Um, if you use oak aged wine, mm -hmm. the first thing you could do is you could sherry condition. And if you wanted to make a sherry cask, hornitos or whatever, yeah, you just put you sherry, sherry rest that right, let it suck up. So you could do the sherry like the water. Uh, if you then want you dump to. the sherry yeah. into something like the back where it came from. It's going to be more oak aged now. Yeah, you don't want to dump it down the drain. That's just yeah, that's a waste. But then you can condition it for your next bottle and then have that sherry. But if you were to do like a red wine or a merlot after you just put Maker's Mark in there, you're probably going to get a very weird tasting wine. Probably. Bourbon wine doesn't really sound as good as like red cask or sherry cask or barley wine tequila. Yeah. I think it's cool how that turned. Yeah, that like brown like in 48 that. hours. Is this making yeah. it a reposado or? Yeah. <laughs> Technically, 
Reposado isn't aged for very long. It's, although that's a very dark. Reposado is aged for up to a certain amount of time, right? right. Not, and and it's, but it's short, like least. three months or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And yeah, and Ejo's like uh, under a year or a year or whatever. This is smoky. <laughs> this is smoky? Smoky, hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? Smoky wow. caramel. Or smoky agave or like yeah. something. But, I mean, it, this. I don't know if necessarily cheap, but if if you continually use it, hmm. you can you can create new. Different. If you're the if you're a hobbyist, it's not bad. <laughs> if you're a hobbyist, put, show this is a, your face. a nice nice concept. Okay. Now. <laughs> you don't have to talk about it without being influential. Hmm. Uh, right. <laughs> oh, it's got mezcal. Well, not yeah. like mezcal, but kind of like. It's got the smokiest it's got kind of mezcal. Exactly, Jennifer. You walk over here because she's she wants that smoky tequila. That's pretty good. I, I mean, I don't like mezcal, but I kind of like that. That's, I had I, that's I cool. had pizza a couple days ago and it burnt under my lip, and now everything burns every time I. <laughs> um, that is neat stuff. That does not. That is not what I expected. I thought it was gonna taste like oh, a yeah. bourbon. Isn't that but neat? But it tastes like a smoked peat. tequila. Yeah, you get some real. You, the agave really plays wow. in there still. It's kind of sweet because it's a hornito, so that's it's a little bit neat. sweet still, right? Because their stuff is normally yeah. a little bit sweet. But that does right. not taste like Hornitos Plata at all. No. Uh, How cool is that, huh? Wow. That, that's, that's... That's super cool. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I mean, you could smoky, not... Smoky, smoky. Here's the thing. You that, could it not... Is peaty. It's it is. Peaty. Yeah. But it's not like Mezcal. Because Mezcal's a little over... Yeah, it's peaty. like... Yeah, Mezcal's smoke. like... Well, the brand that we have, I don't think they're all like they're that. They're probably not like that, yeah. No, but they're, they're no. It's true, but there is. I mean, there's a, a smokiness in there that I've not been able to get into a tequila without mm. buying mezcal. All I wanted was something that had a little, a, a nice, mild, smoky tequila to be able to create a recipe with. Yeah. That's when good. I was in C Cancun, I'm like, I want your smokiest tequila. I want a tequila because they had some stuff that was smoky. Little did you know. Yeah. It's been sitting here for like months. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but so so basically. To get that smooth too. Wow, it's because that that flavor has has been adopted in there. Now it's almost like you just need to keep putting tequila in there. All right. Um, but <laughs> that is the kind of the the charred flavor I want to get out of a tequila that I've not been able to do. And that kind of changes the game because for eighty bucks. That's a pr that's a that's big investment cool. though. It, 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 for, it's a for big a hobby, investment. Like a for what I guess you would call like a. a but if you like a this trendier, flavor, I mean, no, not even I mean, trendy. how do you know if you like the flavor until you buy the bottle and try it out? But I mean, but eighty dollars to do that is, it, is a risk. It's an experiment. I like it. I think it's oh, pretty no. damn cool. I think, I, think, that's awesome. I think you guys yeah. like it too. If you do a if you if if you're the well, type of person who wants to create your own stuff, like people w come over and do things. WCD. What would Derek chicken do? Curd do. Oh, uh, what would Curd do? What would Curd think? Yeah. Oh, I think Curd would like it. Yeah. Mm. It depends what mood he was in. Mm. Yeah, that is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Right. It would hmm, that's interesting. Well, you know what? It'll still be here because that's a lot of. Uh, that's not going anywhere. But if you're the type of person who want who likes not to come create. Anytime soon, is he? Uh, it'll be he here. Will okay. be so in yeah, it'll be up soon. Kurt will be here before then. Though. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll be passing this around. Um, if you, like that. there, like there that. are those people who like to create your own cocktails, but you want to make everything yourself, like infused gins and this and that and the other thing. This is another mm. thing to add to your category of of I want to create a cocktail nobody else can make. Right you, now they could, but they don't know what you did. Right, right. You're like, what is that? Oh, that's a smoked it, tequila. It's like a magician. Homemade it's a home, smoked tequila. It's a home oak tequila. Yeah, it's yeah. a home oak tequila yeah. with a little lime and this and the other thing, and maybe some basil infused agave. Like you it's, could get all a, crazy. It's like any ever. I think about like a magician. Magicians have a repertoire of tricks, and sometimes they create their own, and sometimes they modify right. existing ones. This is like for your repertoire repertoire of bartending tricks and mixology right. tricks because I think it, we should try the sherry cast. We gotta fill a thing right. with sherry. Yeah. You should Rinse it out. See I am wondering if there's gonna be now agave, agave in that, left over in the sherry. But that's okay. If you do yeah. sherry, you dump you you, you drain the sherry out, yeah. then you get another bottle of Hornitos and you put that in there. Mm. No, Break, you gotta do rum. You want to do sherry cast rum? Oh, yeah. a spice yeah. rum. Yeah, do like a cat. Take a captain and do it. Yeah, sherry. like a captain private stock. Yeah, and use or just regular sherry. captain. Regular captain. Is regular sherry, captain's yeah. a good baseline because it tastes like crap to begin with. Yeah, regular yeah. captain's horrible. But yeah, you, so you can water it, sherry it, yeah. captain it. 
And it was still, it's only, what, 14 it bucks for Captain Morgan? And give it a try and then compare Morgan. it to their Yeah. Their Other sherry cast. cast. Yeah. If you can make your own private <laughs> sherry label <laughs> I'm sure it won't taste just like theirs. No, but that it could be, be better. This isn't that bad. Could, this no, is no, really good. That's really good. Because it's very bright. This You're not a step up like from the Hornitos, I think. Dude, this is, I, the, I mean, I wouldn't plata. say that if you took... Hornitos isn't bad, but... Um, no, but for a $20 bottle of tequila and an 80 does that taste like... $110 worth of tequila? I don't know. Well, 80 over 50. It's costing you a buck 60 per use. So, you're, 21 you're 60. You're amortizing it. Or, yes, I'm or, amortizing it over the life of this. Yeah. So, how much, what does what that do for us, Math Wizard? Well, if that's $20 and yeah. this is a buck 60 per use, then that's a $21.60 $21 bottle of. Given that you're drinking a homemade, fuck ton of, of yeah. PD uh, tequila, it's a definite. I mean, it's I guess how you typically would do things. You have yeah. to consider it over the full put, length of its life. Yeah. Jay says, put Jack old number seven and it turns into Gentleman Jack. <laughs> no, it would be better than that, I think. Yeah, because there wasn't too much step up, It's not that much. They were really similar. Yeah. It, but not not exactly the That same. is really a close. drastic change. Yeah. Thing. I mean, I mean, look, this is clear. Yeah. It's not clear anymore. Say. Yeah. I mean, there's a drastic. If this looks clear to you, go to the ophthalmologist <laughs> right. yeah. and get yourself checked out. Here's the other thing. We only poured a little bit in here, right? Yeah. Do you know how much is missing? Do you want to water some of that? Do you, do, would that bring out some no, of I, I don't. No, I don't know, maybe. Uh, but no, that take... one's got fluoride in it. I don't know if you want to use that. But that one over here might be good. Um, nah, nah, nah. I, I don't know what that does. But Clean No, but teeth. what I'm saying <laughs> is this was full up to here. Yeah. There so is at least and, two yeah. ounces in that bottle Sucked still. Up. There's a little bit of angel share going in there. A now, lot of bit of angel share. Now when devil's it cut. Um, oh, gets devil's... smaller, will it leak out? <laughs> where does that As soon as it dries, evaporates? yeah. Once it's it dries, no. Oh, so like, the drying yeah, is going to be the evaporation the evapor of whatever yeah. liquid, uh, liquid is still left in yeah. here. And then it's going to dry and it's going to shrink. shrink. Which but what you want to do is rinse it out with water because they said that you can get biological growth. Because it, you know, there's stuff it's on the wood. side, yeah. Yeah. and there's going to be moss or whatever in this the dark water. Wood. Makes it smooth, but the taste mm. is still there. That's weird looking in there. Uh, can you make a sound of it? Of course, you can make a sound. It's no, not, it's not like a joke. Solomon said that was his contribution to CMC for <laughs> everything <laughs> CMC has given to him. Well, thanks, Solomon. That was a cool contribution. <laughs> yeah, and, and I think it's neat. we're gonna have to do the sherry sherry one next. I'll have to rinse it down yeah. and get a, a bottle. Cause Sometime I, in the next few months. I didn't think. <laughs> I was gonna... I'm saying you got time. You've uh, done it once. You can. You just, I thought you, you were saying, well, it took you six months to do the. First no, one. you can do it, and it'll be a throwback, and you can link this one in the video, and life is good. Mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have thought. I that. I was thinking it was gonna be gimmicky, like the elements. Gimmicky. Yeah. That's what. Yeah. yeah the, the elements. I get what it's doing, but the the cost effectiveness goes down because you use the element once. Yeah. Where this, this you just like keep using it, and you can use it for a full bottle and do different things with it, which yeah. gives it a little bit more. The difference in price is drastic too. The elements are like fourteen yeah. bucks. That's like eighty. Yeah, but. You but get the 50 uses. When you go through that yeah. whole usage thing yeah. you were going through, now it's like, oh, an extra dollar and I can have a lifetime's worth of this? That's pretty awesome. That's Solomon really awesome. says if you are interested in buying the oak bottle, you should use Amazon. It's $10 cheaper because of shipping. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Compared to the oak bottle website. If they have the cherries and if the smokes, I don't even know why you would need, like, they have a smoked version of this. This is pretty smoky. I wonder what that would with. do. You would make right? it like a scotch, like a Isle of Scotch. Yeah, like a, uh, what, what's the Lefroig. Lefroig. Hmm. I don't know. So, do we have a question today from the chat room? Um, I have something about a best alcohol under fifty dollars or something. Best like that. best bottle of booze under fifty bucks. That, that's a wide selection right there. Okay. Do you have uh, any nicknames? There you go. E boy. E boy. Yeah, Matt, Matt used to call me E boy in college. Matt who? Matt Meyer. You remember Matt Meyer? Really? He's a yeah. He called you yeah. an e-boy? Yeah, we got drunk. E-boy. <laughs> if you could describe your drinking habits in less than three words, what would it be? <laughs> if you could describe your drinking habits in less than three Hardly words. Hardly ever. <laughs> Hardly ever. No, that's, that's syllables. That's syllables. Um, Quality and word. often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, at, at Regu work. Regularly and quality. Small sips. <laughs> small sips. Many small sips. Small sparing, small sips sparingly. Friday yeah. night tapings. Friday <laughs> night tapings. <laughs> Describe it, and then if you have a nickname, write it. Even if it's your YouTube name, because New Orleans it. style. No, yeah. it's, we're it's not there. We're done. We drink there. Thanks, right. Solomon. Thanks, Solomon, for uh, a quality bottle product. Yeah. And now, what Solomon has done is given the oak bottle manufacturers 
a, a, promo. a promo for free. Yeah. He paid sponsorship for them. Oakball people, you should be doing something for us now. Or for Solomon. Or for Solomon. They should send him a you should send. Uh, oh, you guys should send Solomon a bottle to replace the one that he se sent us. <laughs> We're good. Yeah. All right. All right. We're teaching you how to drink. You think you just put a bush in you to your cocktail? I did. It's freaking awesome. Um, I, normally, if it was a small spray, you give it a little slap to wake it up. It gets over that meat.